I'm actually super blown, bro. I just recorded. <laughs> why was the video in slow mo? Like, why? It's okay. It's okay. Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, April. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? If you're not new, <laughs> happy new year, everybody. I hope y'all had an amazing new year. I this is throwing me off. I had a good one. I was just at home. I didn't go nowhere. I hope everyone is coming into this new year starting off right. Set some goals and make sure that you are working every second of the day to make the stuff happen that you want to happen because this is only your life. Nobody else's. Nobody else can do it for you. Nobody else can put you in position. Keep your mind strong. Keep yourself grounded and really push this year to get out every little thing that you want to do. Make sure you prevail in it. Do your best. Never quit. Slow days are normal, but we don't give up. All right. Anyway, let's get into today's story time. I'm literally just going to hop right into it. This story time takes place in Japan as well because in the ninth grade of Japan, from like fifth grade to ninth grade, I was in Japan. So this is a story from ninth grade and I was 14 at this time, turning 15. There was a boy that I knew. He was a junior and like I said, I was a freshman. I told you on the last video, don't know what was happening, but I was attracting every junior walking earth when I was in my freshman year of school. I did look older. I know exactly why, okay? I looked older and but it's still nasty. To me, it's weird. I don't know, okay? Um, he was a junior and we're gonna just name him right off the rip cause his, uh, we're gonna name him Dingleberries. Yes, he actually looked like one too. So it's a school day and we gotta go to lunch. I will work with lunch. You can go to lunch at the school, you know, just eat in the cafeteria or you could go to this Japanese restaurant that they literally had on base. Like it was like, a one two minute walk away from the school and they allowed the kids to go there if you don't want to eat in the cafeteria it was so fucking dope i really think so they should do that shit in america i went that day to the cantina that's what it was called the japanese cantina i went what i was specifically with this girl specifically wow specifically with this girl named um i'm not even gonna name her she's not relevant <laughs> i said the same thing about her in the last video but she was just around me all the time but she was with me that day and so i'm standing in the line you know they were they had this line and then you come around and then it's like a like like counter you know like a cafeteria it was just a japanese cafeteria just not in the school you know but same same type of thing i'm waiting there for my food i'm in the line and i just see this whole group of boys they just keep looking at me they keep saying little small things like whispering my name and shit like continuously so me and my friend getting real uncomfortable i don't even feel like i'm the sitting there so we talking to each other and we like you know what let's just take our food and let's go back to the school let's eat it like outside on the yard or whatever so that's what we decided to do so as we are walking out a boy screams my mother name right so i look back he trying to ask like where are we about to go where are we about to go me and my friend like we're finna leave bye we left and <sighs> this male human figure not dingleberry but a different human figure who's not re relevant either but he's a part of this ran up to me so i got anxiety up my asshole i'm finna throw up okay and he's just talking 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 about how i'm so cute you don't gotta be so shy like i really want to with you like i've been seeing you da, da, da. and he was new to the school well, he was just saying all that okay and so i'm not really saying him like he asking me for my phone number on this i'm 14 i have cake i don't <laughs> i'm like stalling like yeah like i have a cake like mm, maybe like later like i'll give it to you he's like no like no like i'll like write it down on paper like <laughs> so i ended up telling him my cake whatever he left so right as soon as he left bitch five girls ran up to me five and they go April, your ass was just on somebody's story. I'm like, what? What? What are you talking about? Mind you, the boy who was talking to me, walking with me while I was leaving, he is still next to me, okay? They're like, your ass was on somebody's story. And he's like, they show me the picture. So my ass is on someone's story. So it's a photo of me standing in the cantina line. <laughs> It's a picture of me standing in the cantina line, turned around. Dingleberry then took a picture of my ass and he done captioned it. Freshmen's are evolving. Freshmen's are evolving. There is just no, that's what I'm saying. 
everybody was just too young like the way he didn't go to jail for that so that irritated me real bad you would think like oh like maybe i thought i was like so cute so cool so friendly no that really ticked me off real bad because why do you have my ass on your story i actually didn't appreciate that 14 year old april was so disgusted by that shit i found this man instagram i don't know how to but i literally just typed dingleberry name into my shit and he popped up and so i click his shit and i dm'd him and i said or did I, did I dm him or was it on snap i don't know either way i don't care i messaged him and i said take that shit off your story like it's no reason why you just posted me on your story talking about freshmen are evolving like i'm some low class ass like don't never post me like that never no more naga i don't know you i don't fuck with you you have never talked to me a day on my like i don't know who you are so why would you post me like that fuck he responded back that he real sorry he really apologizes da 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 da, da this that and i'm third right just saying he's sorry he gonna take it down he really shouldn't have done that and he actually does have respect for me he just thought that i looked good okay cool forget her ball after that he asked me for my number he was like wait but can i have your number now dumb brain 14 april gonna give him the number okay so i gave him the number he texted me and from that point on me and dingleberry was texting so dynamic between me and dingleberry bro i was so shy as a child like we didn't talk <laughs> like we didn't talk in school like i talked to this man on message i was the most active most out there i was like i was one of them talkers like them people that text all this shit and then they come in real life and it's like but i wasn't really talking all sexual or doing any of that it's just i was real communicative like you can really get me to talk to you through the messages like we could talk about anything i'll send you paragraphs it's like you really seeing a real side of me then we come in real life i lose my way of words don't understand why you're looking at me while i'm talking it's gonna make me throw up and run away like it's just all it was too much and he was older than me too i'm young you got this older dude who has experience i don't i am a virgin child in every way possible like and he's just trying to push up on me he's trying to you know, meet me over here after school, meet me over this, da 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 Like, I used to be a part of the volleyball team. At a point, I was the volleyball manager. And um, he would try to get me to leave after school, pretty much go with him or like come out to his car. And I made excuses like every single day. He would just see me and I'd run out there. Sorry, I have to go. No, I'm, I, I don't skip. No, I like, I was just always doing that shit. And six, I need you to get down, baby. And, um, you know, it, it was really disgusting to me because I wasn't open in that area. I was very, very scared to have a sexual experience. Oh my gosh. And like, I could see how much those boys was just so there with it. You know, I wasn't, like I said, every time you, I would even see him like in the distance, I'm walking the other way. F is you saying? We is not fin to talk. The only bad part is that me and this boy shared a Japanese class. So I took Japanese language. We were in the same class. So we didn't talk in class though. We did not talk in this class. Like he would try so much to talk to me. He would try every little thing possible to get close to me, to talk to me, to do this, to do that. We wasn't dating, but at a point like with time going by i guess people like people like it became a public thing because of how much he would talk about it and how he fucks with me and this that and a third and then i started telling people like yeah i'll be talking to dingleberry but so it became like a public thing that we talk <laughs> is looking at me like fast forward fast forward fast forward everything i gave you like a little rundown when it comes down to this person Dingleberry was also known as a hell. Dingleberry was known as a thotamus McThotter McFucker. Fast forward, fast forward to actual homecoming. A few days before homecoming, maybe even like a week or a few days, something like that. Me and Dingleberry had a chat on text, of course. Um, but we had a chat and we were talking about homecoming, right? So this was like really stirring up my ass cheeks because I'm like, damn, I got to be present in real life. Um, I'm finna dance like literally the people on Bob's Burgers. Like I don't even know. Like I am not made for that. I'm like not one of those girls. Like what the fuck? I'm too weird for that. 
it was already in my ass like it was stinging my literal asshole like every day so we're talking about it though and so he goes and he says to me you know females don't ask men to homecoming a lot and i really think you should do that so bitch, i'm not dumb you telling me that mind you my smart little freshman self knew that you telling me that because you too ashamed to ask a freshman to homecoming I didn't tell him that, but that's exactly what that was. I'm not dumb. You was too scared to ask a freshman to homecoming in front of all the people you know, all the bitches you know, the older bitches you know, the older niggas. You was too scared to do that. Point blank. So I told him, if you're not going to do that, if you're not going to do that, then we're not, we're not going. If you're not going to be able to do that, then we're not going. Look at it. Look at, look at the story interrupter, baby. Like, this is a max of 30 minutes. Anyway, I told that man, we not finna be going if that's the case. That's what it was. And I stuck to that. I really stuck to that. I'm so proud of my little self for doing that, but I did. And I'm, I pushed him asking on him. Like, you're not finna do that. If you want to go to homecoming with me as a man, you're going to ask me to homecoming. Don't ever in your life my whole life in school i ain't never seen no bitch ask a little homecoming don't ever ask me that question no never no game one day i told y'all i was on the track team i did um long distance i did sprints and i did shot put so i'm running one day we just doing like warm-ups we're running like a mile i believe it was something like that i don't know what it was but it was something he pops out the woodworks at the end of my little day he comes up to me with a sign that has you know what it wasn't a sign it was not a sign it was a shirt and i could tell that it took him three no two seconds to make that shit why the mother he got a shirt that say will you go to homecoming with me on the front with his quick ass sharpie that he didn't got out the gym's office because he was on the track team too what is up with you um and on the back it has two check boxes that are so literally the lines look like a third grader that made the boxes good lord the marker was about to be out the ink it's done wow oh my god thank you for this this is so cool why the fuck he had that shit gonna hand me the mother marker to check my box i should have made my own box I should have made my own box and put some shit on that hoe so you really understand. I obviously checked yes. Because what else was I going to fucking do at that fucking age with the fucking anxiety on my fucking ass? I checked yes. Like, but it still annoyed me real bad. I felt the same way that I feel about the shirt and all that shit. I felt that at that time. The fuck? He feels like he just did something so cool. Like, we supposed to exchange a kiss. I know I definitely hugged him or whatever, but let's skip to homecoming night so homecoming nights around oh my god so cool me and my friend um we're gonna name her yesi <laughs> i don't know why but i'm just i literally still love her to this day but me and her we getting ready to go to homecoming together at my house we getting dressed up we doing our makeup we doing all this shit cool amazing great amazing great amazing great amazing i lived on the north side of the base so the homecoming where it was taking place at was on the north side so it was real close to my house too it was at the officers club so we had to go walk over to the officers club which was only like five minutes away from my house so we walked over there once it was time to go and i'm texting dude all that shit i'm texting him i'm texting him the whole time he just keeps saying like i'm finna meet you there i'm finna meet you there my friend she is on instagram <laughs> she's on instagram and dingleberry them posted a picture of him and two bitches <laughs> for homecoming oh my god so while i'm texting him and he's telling me that the reason why he ain't there yet and he hasn't left yet and all this is because he's with his family he's with his brothers his mom wants to take all these pictures he's at a house having another take photos of him and other <laughs> like wow like i there's a reason why I've never looked at this human male and ever been able to connect myself. He can't even pull the anxiety out of me to make me this fun-loving person that want to communicate and chat. 
is something about him and that just like really summed it up i was like wow z he is taking pictures with these two females that i'm gonna call dumber and dumb no dumb and dumber okay their names are dumb and dumber actually one of them no she's, <laughs> she's like coolish she didn't really the thing is she wasn't really a part of that it was the, it was the one it was the one like i said it wasn't really the other girl it was one specific that he was around that like acting like they going to homecoming together still waiting still waiting he did explain it to me saying that he just went over there because they're very i swear he did saying that they're very close friends and like they just you know um wanted to take pictures with him da -da 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 -da, like it's nothing like that that's what he tried to tell me i swear i remember he said that whatever he pulls up to the homecoming mind you i'm already in the like little room the dancing ball around i'm i'm in there it took him a while maybe like 30 minutes to pull the up and he pulls in like i said with the two females so they walking in these just eyeing me it wasn't like i said it wasn't really the other it was this the one she's just eyeing me like this is her man he comes over to me he sits down i'm sitting down just like this you know i got my legs crossed and shit he talking about some hey and he puts his hand on my leg and i'm like this is so weird like i never talked to you so this is odd <laughs> and three you i actually don't put you like i'm real pushing him away from me i don't want to talk no i'm not getting up to dance no i'm not doing this no i'm not doing that first of all fuck out of here i'm not even this type of person i'm the type that sit in the corner in the lunchroom like I, I it doesn't matter about prettiness and all this this is just how i was so he got it by himself and when he did he walked over to the stage right um because there was a stage he sits on the stage with the with the i don't like he sits on the stage with the hoe and she's just over there to the songs and shit, like looking real like a clown ass ogre. Like, and he is looking the exact same way, honestly. <laughs> like, y'all really should have went to homecoming together. I don't understand why you asked me. One, the ass, the, the proposal, it was so low tier. But you know I don't talk to you, so why are you asking me anyway? Him and I didn't speak the whole night. There's nothing else to tell about the night because him and I did not speak the entire night okay great time goes by it's now the end of homecoming and it's time to leave i got up on the dance floor with my friend about one time and did a little shuffle and i sat down <laughs> after that it was time to fucking leave bitch and the biggest bird dingleberry don't walk up to me and he's talking about so what you gonna do after the like? i'm like um i don't know because there was it was around halloween time i'm like i'm gonna go to the hot house He's like, oh, you know what? Let's all go to the haunted house. But I'm like, I'm here with um, Yessie, so Yessie's gonna have to come. Like, if we go, hello. Yessie's my literal, like, hello. So he's like, yeah, that's fine. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, great. So we finna walk out. Mind you, he told us to wait. We didn't go with him, but we waiting in the front. The whole reason why he told us to wait is because Dumb and Dumber were trying to make moves with him after the homecoming, right? So he had to now go tell Dumb and Dumber that he has other plans and that he's not gonna be able to take them home and do all this other shit, da 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 da. So as he's telling Dumb and Dumber that, all you hear them, what the f what? Bro, no, f you. Like you just hear them like doing all this extra, like mad loud. He got them to go away to done left he came back to me and yes he and like come come to the car so we all go to his car we get in yes he get in the back i'm in the passenger i felt so fucking literal weird because this is my first time in a car other than my parents on the air force base this is crazy we get to the haunted house bitch why well, i'm too scared to go in i was just a pussy like i'm it, it says a lot about his mind that he was still with somebody that he could see is like literally scared of life because it's like i was doing a lot of bad shit but i was like stealing drinking i'm not like that was never my concern or being with men it wasn't i had little boyfriends but we never did shit we talked so like i said i didn't want to go in it was too scary and the whole reason why it got ruined for me because why the a clown from inside the the haunted house then ran out I was done at that point. I'm ready to go home. I don't think Yessie went in either because I didn't go in. So Dingleberry, he still ends up going into the haunted house. So he goes in, whatever, and goes in with a bitch, a whole. Bitch. I literally watched him get lined up in the line with a. Bitch. That's cool. That's cool. Once again, that's cool. Once he comes out, you know, we're trying to look for him. Where the f 
did he go? Because all of our shit is in the car. Like we took our shoes off because it was in a in a rocky area. It was so hard to walk with heels. We took our shoes off. He said we could leave it in his car. We left the shoes in the car. We left our bags in the car. We left like majority of our shit other than like phones, right? So we're looking around for Dingleberry. Can't find him to save life. Why Dingleberry left? Why Dingleberry left? <laughs> Why Dingleberry left? He left. It was just like the most <coughs> wildest shit ever. I'm looking around. I'm not understanding what's going on, what's happening. That I don't understand it. So I'm calling Dingleberry phone because I'm like, oh, fuck no. I had a phone. I had a number, but I had certain times I could turn on my service. Like it had to be real serious or my parents did not allow me to turn my service on. So I turned my service on. I'm like, I'm finna call Dingleberry. <laughs> so I called Dingleberry. He is literally, I, am I blocked? Why it's not ringing? What? Dingleberry is not answering the phone. Me and Yessie just, we kept trying over and over and over and over and over and over. And finally, one of us got in contact with him and he ends up saying that he left to go to this like kickback. Like he completely forgot that we like came with him and all our stuff was in the car. She didn't say bye. So what, uh, what are you talking? I told Yessi that he can drop the stuff off, like or find us, but you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, he, he's saying on the phone that he's going to come back, give us our stuff, and then he'll give us a ride home. He's so sorry. He's so sorry. He's so sorry. I told Yessi, I'm not getting in the car. Okay. If you want to get in the car and you want to go with this weird ass human, then you can go ahead and go with him. I'm not because he's already such an uncomforting person. I don't know why he's so fucking old trying to talk to me. First of all, he's so fucking weird. Literal horn ball of the universe. Like, and... I just didn't like the whole situation. Like, why am I even in this? Can I just be 14? Like, please. I told him that I'm 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 gonna be walking. So me and Yessie are walking. We are actually walking home all the way from this haunted house, which was nowhere near like right next to my house. It's gonna take you at least like 30 minutes to walk to my house. As we're walking, me and Yessie, it's late outside too, real fing dark, but we're on an Air Force base, so it's you don't have to worry about nothing happening. Dingleberry pulls up and dingleberry puts his window down and he's like hey get in the car get in the car get in the car so yes he's like april come on april come on let's go get in the car come on I'm like yes he no I'm not doing it no so she keeps saying like come on get in the car april come on like let's go like you can at least just take us to the house so we don't have to walk i'm like okay i'm doing this for my friend because she doesn't want to walk and i understand so i'm gonna get in the car got in the car we go i told him to drop me the f off literally like 20 feet away from my house maybe even 100 can you please like i just don't want you in my space i don't want you near my anything i made him stop me and yesi got out the car at that point took all my stuff and i didn't say nothing to him i didn't say bye i didn't say thank you i didn't say nothing i just got the f out so as i'm walking he's still trying to talk to me talking about i'm so sorry April, why aren't you answering? Da 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 da. And then ends up being like, okay, cool. And then pulls off in his car and leaves. That was that. That's it. There's nothing more to it. There's nothing more to it. I wasn't with it no more. I just, uh, I want to be 14. <laughs> this is weird. Like, you're, the whole entire thing is weird. I don't talk to you. So now I look like a weirdo because I'm, the whole time, I, I don't say nothing to you. Like, we at school, I don't talk to LS. It's none of this. What is this weird fake game that we're playing and why are you okay going along with this? If you can tell that I'm obviously too scared, I'm young, I guess I'm gonna have to be the young person to think and use my brain and not put myself in the situation because I'm not ready for this. I don't want this in my life. I don't do this, never have. I've never been in a real relationship. I'm just gonna remove myself because you are obviously too horny to do it yourself and realize that you're messing with a little kid, with a little kid brain who's moving like a little kid and doing little kid shit. And you're like, okay with it? I wonder why you're pulling up with two older bitches. I wonder why you're leaving to go to a drinking party. I wonder why you're with a little girl. Pretty sure any 17, 18 year old wouldn't do that when they're hanging around a 14 year old. Like, the fuck, like just weird as fuck. But it's the fact that I had to take that shit into account being 14. Where's your brain at? You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so that was the last homecoming for me. Never went again. It was the dumbest experience ever. What the fuck is everyone doing? What is everyone doing? This dressing in the costumes, 
pulling up to do this one two shuffle on the floor and then everyone's just being dramatic and doing extra shit um not my scene also i don't like none of you hoes i don't like none of you bitches at all so literally disgusting to me <laughs> like <laughs> i didn't go to prom i didn't go to no homecoming after that it was my first and last homecoming ever in life it was the stupidest experience um and i know i don't think that any other experiences were going to be greater i don't like that shit it's just weird everybody in there looking at each other like they got issues this is judging other bitches outfit trying to compete this is trying to fuck after homecoming it's like fuck i didn't even go to prom i did not go to prom don't care either don't regret it don't wish i did very amazing and actually think i kept myself out of a lot of stuff <laughs> okay but yeah that's the end of this story i really hope y'all enjoyed the story if y'all want to know like more in depth about certain stuff you can ask so many questions and like stories will pop up into my head about japan and i'll tell you all of it i had some stories in a like i said i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i'm going to see you in the next one make sure that if you're subscribed your post notifications are on for my channel so that you don't miss a video and if you aren't subscribed subscribe it's Hurry. Okay, love you. Give me basil. Hurry. 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 Okay, bye. <laughs>